everybody, it's Tina. Happy Fairy Friday, happy Friday. It's so weird, you know, that since I've updated Facebook, it used to say three, two, one, and now it doesn't, it just it comes live. It's really weird. I, I like the three, two, one, because it kind of gives you a, a chance to prepare. <laughs> Anyways, hope you're all doing well. Um, couple exciting announcements. I got my um, Fall Equinox Maybon kit that came with this tarot spread. I'm so excited. It, um, the Autumnal Equinox is when night and day is, are equal. So it's just way, right at that point where everything is balanced. And that's what this represents. You know, there's the scales for balance. And this is the equinal. Hey Sue, thanks for joining me. This is the line of the autumn equinox. And this represents the light and the dark. And I'm going to be offering readings around um, first day of fall with this. So I'm going to talk more about that at the end. And for those of you that are local, um, tomorrow in Brentwood, I'll Pete, um, send me a message for the info. I will be um, at a holistic healing, um, hey Carrie, thanks for joining us, a holistic healing fair um, from 9 to 1. I'll be doing card readings and I'll be doing very short 10 minute Reiki sessions. So if you want to come by and um, see me, I would love that. And um, there's other vendors there too doing various things. So come by and say hi and check it out. So, um, not a whole lot to talk about today since I did that long talk on Wednesday about um, the full moon. I think people are still, you know, Mercury went straight, straight, <laughs> went direct, right about the full moon too. And it still takes a few days for it to, for us to really feel that and um, be able to communicate better. So that's still playing a little bit, not so much, and um, just a lot of crazy stuff going on, weather-wise and everything. So I'm just going to go right back into the reading today, since there's not a lot to talk about. So let's do our meditation. So let's put your feet fat, flat on the ground, um, shoulders back, back straight, and palm up. And go ahead and close your eyes and breathe in. Hold and breathe out. Breathe in. Hold and breathe out. Breathe in. Hold and breathe out. And then one last time. Breathe in. Hold and then sigh it out. <sighs> Go ahead and open your eyes. I like to do my little wiggle, gets me all, all my energy out. <laughs> so with that, let's see what the fairies have for us this weekend. What, what do they want us to know this weekend? Yeah, they're busy preparing for harvest, spreading their magic around, flitting about. Um, this is, there's three harvests. Um, the second one is, oh gosh, I'm trying to think. I think the second one will be the fall equinox, and then um, there'll be one more. So they're busy preparing for, you know, doing all the last minute things for that final, final harvest. Okay, fairies, what do you want us to know right now? What do we need to know going into this weekend? What message do you have for us? Okay. 
Five of Autumn. <laughs> and what's kind of funny about this is reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for career change, feeling challenged by money issues. And I think a lot of us kind of been feeling that way lately. Um, And it's kind of, there's a kid, you know, kind of getting a handout there. Um, yeah, if you're struggling at all, um, there's nothing wrong with reaching out to others and asking for help. Um, that's what this, the fairies are telling you to go ahead, ask for help. And that also includes asking them for help, asking the angels for help. Asking for divine guidance. Um, I guess right now is not the time for a career change for <laughs> some of us. Um, so, we're talking about that too. Um, but I really feel that this has a lot to do with money right now. Because things are going slower than a lot of us want, us, want it to happen. That we're feeling kind of constrained money-wise. Um, Yeah, it, it, things are just happening slow. That doesn't mean it's not happening, but it's happening slower than we want, and it, we're feeling kind of crunched. I know I've, it's funny, I've been feeling like that, so um, I think that's a message for me. And so it's okay. I, Hey, Pam, thanks for joining us. Um, it's okay to ask people for help. And, um, I'm kind of getting more messages. Um, one of the messages I'm getting is if you have your own business, reach out to your customers, your clients, and ask them how they're doing and see if they're interested in your services. You know, if it, especially if it's been a while, just touch bases with them and see how they're doing and see maybe they're open for, um, for using your services. Sorry, my mind keeps going blank. Um, but I'm, now one what I'm really getting from it too is, um, like I said, keep asking your angels for assistance, ask them to show you signs and pay attention to the signs, you know, and go, you know, with the, we had inner voice on Monday. So when you're asking for those signs, pay attention, pay attention to those nudges and Act on those. Act on that inner voice that you hear, that intuition that's telling you what your next best thing is. And I feel that once you start doing that, tapping in more to the inner voice, listening more, things will start moving along and it'll kind of open up that block, that block to money. And also part of that is um, believe that you're worthy, worthy for the money, worthy to keep the money and hold on to the money and... Um, Yeah, and again, there's a moment there. Yeah, just believe that you're worthy for, uh, for the money. Believe that it's happening and trust. Trust that the universe has your back and everything's happening in divine timing. So it might be slower than you want, like I said, so you're feeling the crunch, but it is coming. Just keep, keep the faith, keep the hope. It is coming. So that's what I got with that one. And they're really asking you to reach out for help. So... With that, um, what's funny, five is usually, um, it has a lot to do with money. That's a money number. So I feel like it's more of a patient thing. Time to be patient. <laughs> so the money's coming, we just need to be patient. Okay. And again, ask others for assistance. And sometimes you need assistance getting your business going or... Um, maybe paperwork or whatever and that you could maybe you need to pay somebody to do that work or maybe not but it's also that too asking for help assistance maybe you need more help around the house so you have time to do the things that you need to do so that's feeling right because my hands are getting hot so and that kind of ask for assistance too is delegate <laughs> you know delegate so you have more time to bring in the money <laughs> I'm glad that you were able to join us, Pam. So, um, 
So yeah, that's what we have today. Just, you know, ask for assistance, d delegate, ask the angels, fairies for assistance, and um, money might be feeling tight, but don't give up hope. That's what I feel. And keep looking for the signs and paying attention. So um, you know where to go to create more money. So with that, like I said, I promise I'd talk about this again at the end. Like I'm so excited about this one. And this is part, like I said, part of the Audible Equinox kit that I got made on, which is when everything's balanced. The light and dark is balanced. It's right before we start going to darker days and longer, longer nights. So everything for just a moment is in perfect balance. And what this does, see here's the light and here's the dark. What's cool about this, and I'm very excited about it, is you pull a card for what you have, what's in the light for you. What are the things that you're kind of aware of that's in the light? You, your strengths. Sorry, it keeps flopping around. It's it's made out of it's canvas, so um, so those are your strengths and all those type of things. Not that your dark is not a strength, but these are all the things that are in light that you know about that you embrace a lot more. And then you pull a card that's in your shadow. And what I like to think about this is the things that you're denying the, the, about yourself that you need to start integrating to become a whole, complete person. Accept, integrate. Um, so it's kind of like your challenges. You know, that's where this is. So when you know um, what your shadow is, you can integrate that and become whole. And I think that's perfect for the fall. I love this, love this stuff. Isn't that beautiful? I just love the artwork on this. So if you're interested in that, I will be doing that the week of the fall e equinox. And that's um, September 22nd. And I would love to work with you to see what you need to integrate in yourself to be more balanced and more whole. And, you know, by being whole, that's where you can really start shining your light and being 100% authentic to, you know, out in the world. So I'm excited about that one. And um, again, if you're here in the Northern California Brentwood, I am going to be at a holistic healer fair tomorrow between nine and one. I'll be doing card readings and 10 minute Reiki sessions. And there'll be other vendors there doing um, some healing things and some, and selling some holistic products. So with that, if you're interested in coming tomorrow, send me a message. I'll send you the address. And if you're interested in this, let me know because I'm starting to um, take reservations for that if you're interested in this. I'm excited about it. So I hope you guys are too. <laughs> okay. Where is that? Um, Brentwood? Brentwood is, um, the Northern California Brentwood is out East Bay, East San Francisco Bay area. Um, hey Victoria, thanks for joining me. We just finished up. Um, yeah, I pulled the card five of autumn and this is about asking for assistance, delegating and, um, feeling, you know, everybody's feeling challenged by many issues right now, but to have faith and hope that money's coming, that it's the universe is working <laughs> behind the scenes. That's okay. You'd always watch the um, replay. But one of the things, thank you. Thank you, Pam. One of the things I'm excited about, and I'll talk about it again just briefly, this is a new tarot spread I got, integrating the light and the dark. You find out the light that you're more aware of and you're about yourself. And then find out what you're hiding, what you're denying, your shadow self. So you can integrate this, the two and be whole. Because the autumn equinox is right when everything's balanced. So this will help you get more balanced too. So I'm excited about that. I'm doing that the week, you know, around the autumn equinox if you're um, interested in booking that. So again, you know, send me a message if you're ever interested in readings or if you're local, you want a Reiki session. Um, yeah, so with that, have a beautiful weekend. You know, I think that this card goes along with the inner voice. 
ask for assistance from your guides, from the angels, from the fairies. Fairies have a lot to do with um, money. Um, so pay attention to those nudges and those pulls to do th something and go, you know, do that. They're here to assist us. And if you're, if you don't have enough time to work on your business as much as you like, maybe it's time to delegate. <laughs> I know I need to do that. So with that, have a beautiful weekend. I will see you Monday for Angel Monday. Oh, fun. Happy birthday to your brother Wayne. Have a fun time. That sounds fun. And, oh, I, you know, I'm kind of missing up there. I want to go up there. I, I don't think we're going to make it up there till October um, during Seth's break. So, but have fun. That sounds like lots of fun. And it's still warm out. God, wasn't it nice having the cool weather yesterday for us here? <laughs> I really enjoyed that for a change, but I'm not ready for winter. Yes, last of the nice weather. Yeah, so I'm enjoying it as much as I can. I'm wearing my sun pendant so I can hold the sun for a little bit longer until the 22nd when, like I said, everything's going to be even, light and dark, and then we'll be going to longer nights and time for rest after our harvest. Okay, thanks again, everybody, for joining me. I love it when you guys are here. I appreciate it. Um, I do love each and every one of you. Take care. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Bye.